Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L Mobile Hygiene. So let's talk about sugar. So do you eat sugar? And what do you do when you have sugar? What you should do to help to avoid getting cavities, okay? So I will be the first one to admit to you, yes, I've been a dental professional for 14 years but I love sugar. I have a sweet tooth. I know it's not healthy for me, but I love a big piece of cake. You know, chips, I can take it or leave it, but cake, um, like sour candies, donuts, that's my thing. And surprisingly, I have not had a lot of cavities. I've had one cavity my entire life and I was so upset to even have that. But anyways, so what can you do to help to avoid and prevent cavities, even if you're eating things, drinking things you're not supposed to. The best piece of advice that I can give you is drink a lot of water, but also after you eat anything, um, drink water and to take it a step further, swoosh the mouth with water. So kind of like, oh, actually I do have some, kind of like this. See that? So swoosh the mouth with water, but for a good 30 seconds. You can use mouthwash too, but you might not always have that with you. So even if you're out at the mall or at work or anything, you should always have access to water somewhere, right? Always swoosh the mouth with water. And the reason is because anything that is sugary, that is acidic in the mouth will become neutralized right away with water okay because water is neutral so on the ph level it is number seven if you have even if you have a nice cup of tea tea is very acidic it's about it has an acidity of a 2.3 so think about it neutral is seven 2.3 is way lower right so that has a lot of acids and so you know for a cavity to form you only need a ph of 5.5 that's it that's not hard to do so if you're drinking a tea that's a 2.3 so you do have a chance for that cavity to form if you drink water right away your mouth ph is now up to a level 7 so a cavity can't Form. Does that make sense? So that's the best thing to do is to rinse the mouth with, with water all the time. Even when I have coffee in the morning, I will always also have a cup of water. I take it a little intense where even after I have a sip of coffee, I do have a good swoosh of water. I'm not saying you have to do that, but that does help obviously, right? It can't hurt because every acid attack in the mouth is 20 minutes. So if you have that sip of coffee for 20 minutes, there is acids in the mouth. Coffee has about a pH of three or four, depending on what you have in your coffee. If you have sugar, that's even worse. So that acid attack, so that acid level is in the mouth for 20 minutes. If you have another sip, say five seconds later, that's another 20 minutes of acid attacks. But if you drink water, swoosh with water, that acid attack is not happening because it brings up the pH to a level seven. So I don't want to get too scientific on you, but that will really, really help to help to prevent cavities. Um, and of course, um, brush your teeth. <laughs> brush your teeth every morning and every night. I also brush my teeth after, um, after lunch because why not? It just helps. Um, and make sure to floss every single day because you, you do not want those acids from plaque sitting in between the teeth eating away. That's where cavities tend to start is in between the teeth. So drink lots of water, swoosh with water, for a good 30 seconds, um, brush twice a day and make sure to floss every single day, you will be fine. It's not 110%, right? But you will likely not be getting cavities. So good luck. If you need help or have any questions, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.